Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with my next channel update. This one is mainly because uh, I did just recently hit 5,000 subscribers on YouTube, so this definitely for me is probably the first like kind of big milestone in terms of subscribers. I, th I think I talk about it every time I, meant I get like a new, up to a new like 1,000 or whatever, but um, you know, <laughs> this definitely I think is a kind of more notable one for me just because it kind of feels like this is now that kind of really solid number where my channel isn't just this kind of tiny little channel. It kind of is like 5,000 subscribers. It kind of feels like, yay, we accomplished something here. So, yeah, obviously it means that we kind of now we have to look ahead to sort of the bigger numbers and maybe aim for like 10,000 and see how long it takes to get there. Uh, I suppose the final thing I'll just say on this is just that um, it's interesting in that like pretty much over the course of my channel, I've never really had just like a sudden massive influx of subscribers. Like it's all been sort of slow and steady, just the channel gradually growing and growing. It ha I definitely haven't really had much of a situation where like I just upload like a couple of videos and I'd suddenly jump up by 100 or 200 subscribers. So uh, on one hand it's kind of like, wow, I got the 5,000 without having just a massive like... Uh, you know, influx after like one thing or the other, it's just you know, steadily getting here and I think that's pretty interesting to look at. But um, anyway, what are we going to be talking about in this update? We're going to be focusing on the Avatar stuff, of course, because uh, there's some important stuff coming up. First of all, I'll just address the uh, Rise of Kyoshi series, the uh, chapter analysis series, which I just finished. And I did have some questions about just why did you do it so quickly? Why were you uploading so many videos so quick and stuff like that? Why not stretch it out? You always talk about how you at times don't have a lot to talk about, so why not stretch out the Rise of Kyoshi chapter analysis so it takes place over the couple of over a couple of months? Um to me, when I say when I say like I, I don't often have stuff to talk about, and maybe that's why like the Avatar discussion topic series, you know, goes on and off, it's it's because the, 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 what's the best way to say this? It's it's not that I want to talk about like one thing for like months and months and months, but like I'd like stuff to keep happening every so often, like new news to come out, add new stuff on so we can like re refocus on what this topic means, that topic means, and so on. So in that sense, like The Rise of Kyoshi, excellent book, and it deserved all of those videos. I didn't feel like I was stretching it or anything like that. Um, it was a, it's the type of series where I didn't want to stretch that out. To me, the the longer I spent doing that series and the longer I stretch it out, um, to me, the kind of almost less interest there is. Whereas me getting all 32 chapter videos out within a couple of weeks of the book being released immediately means that like, oh, hey, look, if I want to get discussion content to Rise of Kyoshi, it's there already. So anyone who comes to it now afterwards, it's all right there. The podcasts are right there. Um, it's not like, oh wait, it's like two months after release and he's only on chapter 10, that sort of thing. So that's that's the way I kind of wanted to do it. I wanted to just have it be like, it, it all was kind of within like a, a period of time afterwards. The other reason it was kind of more for myself, and that is that I find that the best way to sort of get the content into my memory so that it, it I think of it in the same way as like the comics or the show in terms of remembering scenes and just adding it to my avatar knowledge the best way for me to do that is to do videos on it and stuff like that so getting that stuff done as quick as possible means that Rise of Kyoshi is now confined to my memory and so it's uh, you know I, I've gone through it in all the, the detail possible and it just means that I'm going to remember the details from these chapters as we go through and we can apply stuff that we learn from Kyoshi to discussions going forward whereas you know in some cases we would have been doing other discussions but then like months later we're still going through the chapters and I still haven't got to that moment where that reveal happens and I didn't I forgot about it so th that that's that's the sort of uh, idea with that sort of thing where because it was just the effectively still the review content for that one book I I wanted to kind of get it out as quick as possible and now I feel that it is sort of evergreen content and that anyone who reads Rise of Kyoshi and wants the discussion it's all there in the playlist so that's that. Now it's not the end of Rise of Kyoshi content I will be doing a speculation video probably at some stage next week uh, speculation for Shadow of Kyoshi the second book and um, 
I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do an, like a general sort of spoiler review or not. Definitely let me know if you want to see that. If you just want to see me like within one video just kind of talk about everything. Uh, not worrying about spoilers or anything like that. Just get my thoughts, my favorite moments of the book out there. Let me know if you want to see just a kind of general spoiler review in the same way that I did the sort of non-spoiler general review. But uh, yeah, there'll be that and then I'm sure as other content comes out we'll go back and look at specific topics from Rise of Kiyoshi specifically and, and so on. So there's, the book presents a lot to discuss and in terms of long form content coming out of Rise of Kiyoshi that's the sort of stuff we can definitely look at in terms of now we have the novel what can future novels do that sort of thing like there's lots of topics that spring up out of this and it means suddenly the avatar discussion topic series now has stuff to kind of uh has topics to be covered in it so that's uh that on the rise of kyoshi stuff um and uh, yeah, then probably the big thing that maybe some of you are uh, excited for based on the title of this video, and that is my update on the Legend of Korra Award. So you know I did the Avatar Awards at the start of the year back in January, and I know a lot of you guys really liked that as a fun sort of interactive thing to see what the results would be at the end. And I had people <laughs> immediately asking after the Avatar Awards ended, when are you doing the Korra Awards? Because I said I would do them. Uh, now is the time to do them. I actually have the video to start off the voting made already, but I'll be releasing it on Monday, which is when the voting will start. Um, and without spoiling stuff I say in the video, basically the only real changes from the Avatar Awards are that uh, I, I removed a couple of, uh, of awards that didn't quite work and should streamline the voting a little bit more. And then, of course, because Korra has four books compared to three for Avatar, it means that uh, we get a we get some extra awards. But ultimately, the net gain is that uh, the net amount is that we're we're down a few awards. I think it's uh, it was thirty five awards for the Avatar one. It's thirty two for Korra. So uh, it, I think it should just make it just a little bit easier to um, vote in a bit quicker. I've also extended how long voting is going to remain open. Um, just so I can maximize the amount of votes that do come in. So um, this is one of those things where I definitely need you guys to sort of spread it around. If you know anyone who's interested in Avatar, who maybe doesn't follow the channel, let them know about the awards, uh, make sure they send their vote in as well. Uh, because, you know, the more votes that we have, the more meaningful the actual, like, end results actually are. We got about 50 or so votes for the Avatar ones, which was fine, but a few of the categories, um, that meant that there were, like, ties and stuff like that, so again, this is one of those ones, when I put the video out, spread it around as much as possible, you know, get your vote in, and then tell other people to vote in it as well. But, um... Yeah, that, that's that's pretty much it for the Avatar stuff, just, you know, addressing, you know, why I did the Kyoshi content so quickly, the upcoming Korra ones, uh, the Korra awards, and then, yeah, I, I have a few people asking me, because, like, on Twitter and stuff like that, I, I, I update about, like, oh, got in a re review copy request for this comic and stuff like that, and I have review copy requests in from Dark Horse for uh, Imbalance Part 3, Team Avatar Tales, and Runes of the Empire Part 2. All of them I have I put in my requests. I'm just waiting for them to be uh, approved or denied, depending on what happens. The impression I get is just that uh, they haven't they haven't approved anyone, or you know they haven't said yes or no to anyone just yet. It's just that those books are now open to request the review copy of, and they haven't got around to actually like sending those uh, review copies out yet. I'm assuming for Imbalance, which is obviously the book that's coming at first uh, at the start of October, that will be um, be released to reviewers within the next couple of weeks. So that's another reason why I wanted to get the Kyoshi stuff done as soon as possible, so that once we reach this kind of start of like the big content coming out of like we have uh, Imbalance, then two weeks later it's a uh, Team Avatar Tales, and then uh, like two three weeks later after that it's Runes of the Empire, and then. Realistically, in and around the same time, we're also getting into probably announcements for the next comics and books and stuff like that. So I wanted to have the schedule sort of free to cover the new stuff and it not just be like, let's do more Kyoshi here you know, months after its release. Um, so that's just what's going on there. 
pretty much the day I get those review copies for those books, I will be putting up a non-spoiler review. Uh, you guys know the way that I tend to do them. When I do get review copies, it'll be, you know, as in-depth as I can be without spoiling the book, but also in-depth enough to at least let you guys know, give you a sense about what the book is actually about. Uh, I don't want it to just be one of those reviews that is just like, I read the book before you guys, it's good, buy it, be excited when it comes out, that just, kind of, that just feels like a tease. I actually want to give you a sense of like, you have something to look forward to here, you know that if I like it then it is really good and that you know my opinions like on the first two parts of Imbalance, so what are my parts, thoughts on part three, given that I'm sort of very cautious about, you know, just how good that uh, comic series actually is and, and so on. Uh, honestly, of the three, I'm actually probably the most excited in terms of just, in terms of doing an early review for Team Avatar Tales, just to see what that book is. That book has gone from being, when it was first announced, probably the thing I was most excited for, because I think at the time, I felt like we really needed some of those just side stories to just kind of do something different than what the main series was doing. But as as it's been like basically a, nearly a year since it was scheduled to actually be released, um, it's just gone down in my estimation. And at this point, I'm kind of like, I just hope there is any decent amount of content in those stories that we haven't heard anything about yet. There's probably one or two short stories in Team Avatar Tales that we really haven't heard anything about, apart from like the description on the back of the book and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, there's something about like... Uh, one of the team's uh, story with one of the team's rivals, which we're not really sure about, though maybe that might be the Boulder story, I'm not really sure. I think the Punkin one, we haven't really seen any of what that is. And then something about uh, like a, re a reflection on what it means to save the world. Like, what it, what does that mean? I, I'm, just, I'm just interested to see what that book is and when the book comes out, does the content itself maybe tell us anything about why it took so long why it, why it suffered a delay of like over a year and stuff like that. Uh, that that interests me about the book. Whereas like in terms of raw content, I think Friends of the Empire Part 2 is absolutely top of my list because I'm so eager to see what they do going forward with uh, Kuvira, Su Yin, uh, Toph coming into the story and so on. And then Imbalance is just kind of like, I just hope it finds a way to end on a good note. Give us something with the bender, non-bender issue, you know, give us a nice um, a nice arc for Ru, Yaling, and Li Ling uh, to just bring their story together. And then most of all, that there's some sort of a setup for what's next in the comics. I'd like to really see some movement with the characters. Whereas uh, right now it just feels like the writers are just coming in, taking these characters. Here's the next kind of setup piece for Korra. Uh, let's set it up here, but we're not really doing a ton with the characters. I really want to see some like movement and getting towards like we're really reaching a period of their life that we really don't know about, and it's and it's more unique than just you know filling in the gap between here to this setup moment for Korra and stuff like that. So. You know, I, I'm really interested to see what, how Imbalance kind of ends off. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, beyond that, uh, other videos that I have coming. Um, I do have an interesting Naruto video. Uh, I'm just figuring out how to film. It's about the new Naruto trading card game that uh, recently came out. So it'll be a sort of review, how to play, my thoughts on the game video. Uh, I'm just you know, waiting to find a kind of a free patch of time to record that and, and get that one out. But that should be a fun one. Uh, the Naruto stuff has pretty much just been the, uh, you know, the Boruto anime and the Boruto manga review. So th this should be a fun thing to get out there. Just a Naruto merchandise type uh, video. Um, beyond that, it's kind of just like waiting for stuff. Like a lot of the Star Wars stuff is just, you know, biding our time, waiting for like Quentin Clone Wars, then the episodes are announced and more details come out about stuff and, and so on. I know the new Thrawn book is out, I haven't got it yet, but when I do, I probably will do a review for it. Um, and yeah, pretty much beyond that, it's just, you know, the usual stuff that I'm doing, like uh, uh, the Promised Neverland manga reviews. I think the manga was off this week, that's why there wasn't a video but the manga should be back next week and we'll continue on with that. And uh, yeah, then final thing here, just uh, Patreon very briefly. Um, 
all I'll say on it is just that, like I said in the last update, I have, I think, really found what I want to do with the Patreon exclusive videos, and I think the anime movie reviews is the, you know, the correct thing in terms of it fits what I'm doing on my channel, but it's not as, like, as specialized on specific series, and I think the people who are watching them seem to like them, so um, I think that's what I'm definitely going to be continuing with. I uh, had a bit of a camera problem uh, during the week, that's why I wasn't able to uh, get around to putting one of those out this time out, but uh, next week I should have my next uh, movie review. It's going to be for the movie uh, Patama Inverted, for anyone wondering, uh, so if you're one of my Patreon patrons at the $3 tier, definitely you know, check out that movie to be prepared for the uh, review that's coming sometime next week. But uh, yeah, I'll just say again, like linked in the description is the link to my Patreon page and you can see all the details there about, you know, the $3 tier is the tier to pretty much get access to the videos. Uh, the tier above that is the one where you can request a avatar discussion topic video for me to do or an anime for me to watch a few episodes of at the start to give my impressions on, if, if it's maybe a series I, I wasn't going to get to normally. And then I think the highest tier that I have is that basically you get like a uh, kind of two requests type thing. You get the same as in the previous tier, but you also get a, a request, but you can come on the discussion with me and we would record it over Skype. Um, and you know, it, it'd be basically be like kind of like a podcast about that avatar discussion topic or about those episodes of that anime so that's the, the basic idea of my patreon so uh yeah that is the video just wanted to do something to talk about the the 5000 subscriber mark but also to at least say something beforehand about the the Korra awards coming and stuff like that i didn't want to just release that video without kind of hyping it up in any way and kind of letting people know that it is actually coming. So yeah, Monday for the core awards, that's when it will all start. But again, don't feel rushed. Uh, I think I said before, uh, you'll have two months to vote in them this time. I'm leaving it open for a good while so the maximum amount of votes can come in. But uh, that's been the video. Thanks for watching and bye.